premature babies in intensive care, but this is not a fully equipped hospital. This is a windowless container cabin parked in northern Syria, a temporary shelter for the country's most vulnerable as civil war rages outside. We cannot tell you the name of this hospital or where exactly it is because, like so many doctors and clinics, medical aid has become a target in the war. For volunteer doctors, it is a struggle to operate. It's more like damage limitation as opposed to proper health care. It's a short of absolutely everything. British Syrian charity Hand in Hand operates more than 30 clinics and hospitals within Syria, providing desperately needed medical supplies and volunteer doctors. It is one of the few charities to operate in both regime and rebel-held areas of Syria. Including this maternity hospital with a children's ward. Here, they have seen a surge in premature births, necessitating emergency C-sections like this. There were no incubators in areas outside of the government's control, this doctor tells us. In besieged areas, private hospitals used to charge high prices and people could not afford the costs of care and that's why there was such high infant mortality, he said. Syria is in dire need of medical aid. Just take a look at these numbers from the World Health Organization. More than 90 percent of Syria's hospitals have either been destroyed or severely damaged. Plus. Think of all the doctors and healthcare workers that have left. An estimated 80,000 doctors have fled the country. And in the city of Aleppo, after 5,000 physicians fled the fighting there, only 36 remain. Plus, local production of medicine has been reduced to a trickle. In fact, less than 30 percent of the supply before the war started. And over the next year, the WHO estimates that Syria will need 900 million dollars in essential medicines and supplies at a minimum. Outside of Hand in Hand's hospital, a rocket is fired in the distance. The fighting is never far away. But for now, inside the hospital, a moment of calm, however temporary. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.